Welcome back. As a way to build reading skills and confidence for younger, newer readers, Anoka County Library occasionally hosts Read to a Dog Day. Danica Peterson has the story. Bucky is a therapy dog. He and his owner, Amanda McGivern, make visits to nursing homes sometimes. And they also visit Centennial Library in Circle Pines for a story time of sorts. My husband and I wanted to get more involved in the community, so we thought this would be a good way to do it. The dog makes breakfast. In this story time, Bucky is the one listening to the story, and the story is being read by children. And the girl was holding the teddy bear. During Bucky's training, McGivern learned that Bucky's natural demeanor might make him a great choice for therapy dog training. I thought since Bucky was a good candidate that it was good to share him with, you know, with others. And McGivern says, Bucky really likes the work. Before we come, I say we're going on a visit, and he runs right to the door. Um, and if I don't say we're going on a visit, he has a little uniform there. So when we're on visits, he has to wear his little handkerchief that says Helping and Healing Paws. That's the organization that we belong to. And um, if he sees that handkerchief out, he starts wagging his tail, and he runs right to the door. Once story time gets underway, Bucky has a tendency to relax a bit. His calm approach to the story can help the kids relax a bit as well. It boosts their confidence for sure. So uh, some of the kids that come here, they practice their reading skills. Uh, some of the kids that come here, they may not have a dog at home or they may um, have had a poor experience with a dog that was too jumpy or kind of big. And so it helps a lot of them with their confidence, uh, some with their reading skills and being assertive because uh, this is the best, best audience to read to. McGivern and Bucky started working with the library last fall and over the months, they have gotten to know some of their regular readers. We have some repeats, and so we have some kids that Bucky starts to recognize now, um, and that's kind of fun. And we have siblings that come and read to, the, uh, to Bucky together, and uh, sometimes the kids, if they're just having a bad day, they just talk to Bucky, and they just tell him about their day and what they're doing and what they're up to, and that's kind of nice, too. The girl walks with her dog. I really enjoy uh, doing this. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson reporting. There was a man who had boxes in there and the dog saw it. Anoka County Library has an online event calendar for you to keep up to date with Read to a Dog Day and other library events.